ಮಂದೇಹಂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 8th Chapter, Text Number 33, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 25th of April, 1973, in Los Angeles, California. Sri Rupam Chakrajatam ಸೋದಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಜನ ರಂಜನ ಸೋದಾನ 
नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय अपरे वसुदेव सेवक्याम याचित अजस्म से क्षेमाय ट्रांसलेशन अदर्स से दट सेंस बोथ वसुदेव एंड देवकी प्रेड फॉर यू यू हेव टेकन युअर बर्थ इज देअर सन Undoubtedly you are unborn yet you take your birth for their welfare and to kill those who are envious of the demigods So there are two purposes of incarnation that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita Yada yada hi dharma sapnani bhavati bharata upakthanam dharmasya tadatmanam sujamaham the lord says that when i have there is irregularities dharmash of religion irregularities glani glani means irregularities just like you are executing some service there may be irregularities then it becomes polluted so yada yada hi dharmash glani bhavati means development of irregularities that means if your wealth is diminished then your poverty is increased balance if you increase this side the other side will go up and if you increase that side the other side will. but you have to keep balance that is required so in the human society they are meant for keeping balance what is that balance they do not know that it is just like balance one side spirit another side matter we are now actually we are spirit soul somehow or other we have been encased within this body material body for that purpose so long we have got this body we have got necessities of the body eating sleeping mating defending these are the necessities of the body soul does not require all these things soul has nothing to eat and that we do not know whatever we are eating that is that is for keeping up this body so the bodily necessities are there but if you simply look after the bodily necessities and do not care to look after the necessity of the soul that is foolish civilization no balance they do not know just like a rascal he is simply washing the coat but does not take care of the body or a bird is in the cage and if you take care of the cage and don't take care of the bird within the cage the bird is crying tang tang give me food give me food but you are taking care of the cage and this is foolishness so why we are unhappy why in your country especially you are supposed to be the richest country in the world you have no scarcity no scarcity of food no scarcity of motor car no scarcity of bank balance no scarcity of sex everything is there complete in full abundance and still why a section of people are frustrated and confused like the hippies they are not satisfied why that is the defect because there is no balance you are taking care of the bodily necessities of life but you have no information of the soul
and there is necessity of the soul also because soul is the real subject matter body is the covering only so it is said that i am explaining that bhar dharma saglani bhavati this is dharma saglani pollution of duty dharma means duty dharma is not a kind of faith in english dictionary it is said religion means a faith no no it is not dharma means the actual constitutional duty that is dharma so if you have no information of the soul if you do not know what is the need of the soul simply you are busy on the bodily necessities of life bodily comfort the bodily comfort will not save you suppose a man is very comfortably situated does it mean that he will not die he will die so simply by bodily comfort you cannot exist survival of the fittest struggle for existence so when we simply take care of the body that is called dharma saglani polluted one must know what is the necessity of the body and what is the necessity of the soul the real necessity of life is to supply the comforts of the soul and the soul can be comforted not by material adjustment because soul is a different identity the soul must be given spiritual food that spiritual food is this krishna consciousness if you give the soul the spiritual food when one is diseased you have to give him diet and medicine two things required if you simply give medicine no diet uh, that will not be very successful both things so this krishna consciousness movement is meant for giving food means diet and medicine to the soul the medicine is this hari krishna maha bhavaushadhi chotra mano virama ka uttam shlok gunanubadad virajjati puman bina pasuna parikit mara say to sukhdev goshami that this bhagavat discussion which you are prepared to give me it is not ordinary thing nirbitta tarsai rupa giyamana this bhagavat discussion is relishable by persons who are nirbitta trishna 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 means hankering everyone in this material world is hankering hankering so one who is freed from this hankering he can test the bhagavat how palatable it is it is such a thing nibbitta tarsa similarly bhagavat means also the hari krishna mantra is also bhagavat bhagavat means anything in relation see with the supreme lord that is called bhagavat the supreme lord is called bhagavan bhagavat shabd and in relationship with him anything that bhagavat shabd turns into bhagavat shabd so purikit mara said that the taste of bhagavata can be released by person who has finished his hankering of material desire nirbitta tar sai rupa giyamana why such things should be tasted bhavaushadhi bhavaushadhi medicine for our disease of birth and death bhavo means become our at the present moment we are in disease condition they do not know what is disease condition what is the healthy condition these rascals they do not know anything still they are passing on as great scientists philosophers they do not inquire that i do not want to die why death is enforced upon me there is no such inquiry neither there is any solution and still they are scientist what kind of scientist 
Science means that you advance in knowledge so that your miserable condition of life can be reduced, minimized. That is science. Otherwise, what is this science? They are simply promising in future. But what you are delivering just now, sir, now just now you suffer as you are suffering, go on suffering. In future we shall find out some chemicals. No, actually, Atantik dukha nivritti. Atantik, ultimate. Atantik means ultimate. Dukha means suffering. That should be the aim of human life. So they do not know what is atantik dukha. Dukha means suffering. So atantik dukha is pointed out in the Bhagavad Gita. Here is the atantik dukha, sir. What is this? Jarma mitu jarabhadi. Birth, death, old age, and disease. So, what you have done for nullifying these dukkha, this suffering? So, there is no such thing in the material world. Yatantik dukkha nivitti, ultimate relinquishment from all kinds of suffering, is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. What is that? Mamapita kauntiya. Dukhalam asasatam napnubanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramangata. So you should read all this. You have got Bhagavat, everything is planation. This is atantik dukkha nibhiti, ultimate relinquishment from all sufferings. What is that? Mamapeta. One who approaches me or one who comes to me, back to home, back to God. So they have no knowledge what is God or whether one can go back to home, back to Godhead. It is a practical thing or not. No knowledge. Simply like animals, that's all. No knowledge. They pray, O oh God, give us our daily bread. They are asking, what is God? Can you explain? No. Then whom we are asking in the air? If I ask, if I submit some petition, there must be some person. So I do not know what is that person who had to submit this petition. Simply, they say that is in the sky. The sky, there are so many birds also. There is not God. There is no knowledge. No knowledge. Imperfect knowledge. All. And they are passing on scientists, philosophers, great thinkers, writers, all rubbish. All rabbis. The only book is Srimad Bhagavata. All rabbis. And the Bhagavata it is said, Tad Bhagavata Visarga Janataga Vipla Jasmin Pratisloko Mabadha Vattapi Namani Nantasya Jasam Kitani Jat Sinnanti Gayanti Gilanti Sada. And on the other side, Natad Bachas Chitra Padang Harer Jasa. Praginita karhichi tad bayasam tirtham. Tad bayasam tirtham. Any literature which has no connection with the knowledge of God. Tad bayasam tirtham. That is just like the place where the crows take enjoyment. Where the crows take enjoyment. In a filthy place. And the swans, the white swans, they take pleasure in a nice clear water. Where there is garden, there is birds. Even in the animals, there are divisions, swan class and crow class. Natural division. The crow will not go to the swan, the swan will not go to the crow. Similarly, in the human society, there are crow class men and swan class men. The swan class men will come here because Yet everything is clear, nice, good philosophy, good food, good education, good dress, good mind, everything good. And crow class men will go to such and such club, such and such party, naked dance, so many things. So this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for the swan class of men not for the crow class of men. No. 
but we can convert the crows into swans. That is our capacity. One who was crow is now swimming like swan. That we can do. That is the benefit of Krishna consciousness. So when the swans become crow, that is material world. That is Krishna says, Jada Jada Hi Dharma Saglani Bhavati. The living entity is encased in this material body and is trying to gratify the senses, one body after another, one body after another, one body after another. This is the position. And dharma means to gradually turn the crows into swan. That is dharma. Just like one man may be very illiterate, uncultured, but he can be converted into educated, cultured man by education, by training. So that possibility is there in the human form of life. I cannot train a dog to become a devotee. That is difficult. It can be done also. But I may not be so powerful. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did. When he was passing through the jungle, Jari Khanda, the tigers, the snakes, the deers, all the animals, they became devotees. They became devotees. So what was possible for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because he is God himself, he can do anything. We cannot do that. But we can work in the human society. It doesn't matter however fallen a man is, if he follows our instruction, then he can be turned. And that is called dharma. Dharma means to bring one to his original position. That is dharma. So there may be degrees, but the original position is that we are part and parcel of God, and when we understand that we are part and parcel of God, that is our real position of life, that is called brahma bhuta state. Understanding his brahma realization, identification. So Krishna comes, this explanation, just like Kunti says, that apare vasudevasa devakam jāchito abhagā. Vasudev and devaki prayed to the Supreme Personality of Godhead that we want a son like you. That is our desire. Although they were married, they did not beget any child. They engaged themselves in tapasya, severe tapasya. So Krishna came before them. What do you want? Now we want a child like you. Therefore he has said, Vasudevasya divakyam jachita. Jachita. Sir, we want a son like you. Where there is possibility of another God. Krishna is God. God cannot be two. God is one. So how can we another God to become the son of Vasudeva and Devaki? Therefore God agreed that it is not possible to find out another God. Then I shall become your son. So people say that because Vasudeva and Devaki wanted Krishna as their son, he appeared. Kechit. Somebody say, Vasudeva Sadeva Kam Jachito, being requested, being prayed for, a Bhagyat, he appeared. Ajasya Tam Asya Chimaya Bodhaya Jasudadvisam. Other says the same thing as I was explaining. Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinasaya Chuduskita. Actually, Krishna comes to pacify his devotee, just like he appeared to pacify, to satisfy his devotee, Vasudeva and Devoki. But when he comes, he does the other business. What is that? Bodhaya ca Visham. Bodha means killing. Surad Visham. There is a class of men, they are called Asuras. They are surodvisham. They are always envious of the devotees. They are called demons. Just like Prahlad Maharaj and his father, Hiranyakasivu, 
Hiranna Kosipu is the father of Prahlad Maharaj. But because Prahlad Maharaj was a devotee, he became envious. That is the nature of the demon. So much so envious that he was prepared to kill his own son. The only fault is the little boy that he was chanting Hare Krishna. That is his fault. The father could not. Therefore, they are called Surad-Bhishāṁ, always envious of the devotees. Demon means always envious of the devotees. This material world is so nuisance place. You have got very nice example. Just like Jesus Christ, Lord Christ. So what was his fault? But the surat the envious person, killed him. If we find, if we analyze, what is the fault of Jesus Christ? There is no fault. The only fault he was preaching about God. And still, if we find so many enemies, he was cruelly crucified. So you will always find this surat So Krishna comes to kill this surat Therefore, badhāya ca surat These envious persons are killed. But this killing business can be done without the presence of Krishna. Because there are so many natural forces, war, pestilence, famine, anything, just sit on, working, millions of people can be killed. So Krishna does not require to come here to kill these rascals. They can be killed simply by Krishna's direction, nature's law. Prakriti kriyamanani guni karmani sarvas. Sristi sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti rika. The nature has got so much power that it can create, it can maintain, it can annihilate, dissolute, everything. Nature is so powerful. Sristi sthiti pralaya. Sristi means creation. Sthiti means maintenance. And pralaya means destruction. These three things nature can do. Just like this creation, material creation, is natural, nature, cosmic manifestation. It is being maintained by nature's mercy. We are getting sunlight, we are getting air, we are getting rains, and thereby we are growing our food, eating nicely, growing nicely. This maintenance also being done by nature. But and and any time Everything can be finished simply by one strong wind. Nature is so part. So for killing these demons, nature is already there. Of course, nature is working under the direction of Krishna. Maya dhakkena prakriti suyati sa characharam. So if Krishna says the demons may be killed, then nature's one blast, one strong wind will kill millions of. So for that purpose, Krishna does not require to come. But Krishna comes, as it is stated here, that jācita, Krishna comes when He is requested by His devotees like Vasudeva and Devaki. That is the cause of His coming. And simultaneously, when He comes, He also shows this, that anyone who is envious of My devotees, I kill them. I kill them. Of course, his killing and maintaining the same thing is absolute. Those who are killed by Krishna, they immediately get salvation, which requires millions of years to get. So people say like that, that Krishna came for this purpose or that purpose, but actually Krishna comes for the benefit of the devotees. Khemaya. What is the meaning of Khemaya? For maintenance, for the good, for the good of the devotees. He is always after seeing good of the devotees. Therefore, from this instruction of Kunti, our business should be always how to become devotee. Then all good qualities will come upon us. The Shastri Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana Sarvai Gunai Tattva Samasati Sura. If you simply develop your devotion, dormant devotion, natural devotion, we have got natural devotion. Just like father and son, there is natural affection and there is 
son has got natural devotion to the father or mother. Similarly, we have got our natural devotion. When you are actually in danger, even the scientists, they also pray to God. But when they are not in danger, they defy God. So therefore, danger is required in order to teach these rascals that there is God. So there is nature. Jivet Sarupa Nitya Krishna Das. That is our natural. Artificially, we are trying to banish God. God is there. There is no God. I am God. This is God. This rascal dam we shall give up. Then we shall be given all protection by Krishna. Thank you.